just received the 11.4.3 update and to my surprise, whenever I was getting ready to make a video of full self-driving, I put it in reverse and lo and behold, there are my parking sensors. So this is the actual first time that I'm using them. So we'll see, you know, how they look, how accurate they are. Um, I've been accustomed to backing out of my garage with just my cameras and looking the old fashioned way. But we'll see what we've got looking here. This uh, garage is not super tight like it's making it appear here, but I'd rather err on the side of caution when it comes to, I'd rather it show me that I was closer to something than show me that I'm further away and give me a false sense of everything's gonna be okay if I pull up a little further or back out a little further. Very interesting. So that was pretty cool. I'll have to definitely test that out. I wasn't really anticipating that whenever I got into my vehicle for the first time. So that's pretty cool. Um, it shows that also while I'm driving, I have yet to see if that's going to be somewhat of a annoyance whenever I'm at a stoplight or someplace where it's a little tighter and if it's dinging on the road, but all in all, very cool. All right, so we're going to take the normal route that I take whenever I test this out. First test is this stop sign here. Uh, well, I like how it moved over a little bit to the right before it stopped. Um, that's way better. Uh, this is an unmarked road, and the past few times when it came to a stop, it would stop almost in the middle of the road if there was no vehicles coming. And uh, if a vehicle was coming up and it was being cautious, I would make them have to kind of scooch around me. So that was good. Staying over to the right more than I'm used to, so that's that's also welcome, although it's kind of weaving in and out now, so maybe I'll take that back. Second stop sign doesn't usually have any problems with this other than stopping a little bit too far back to be able to see and that hasn't changed. So now we've got to sort of creep up to see around these giant bushes that are there and there's no oncoming traffic. So we're good there. Another stop sign. There's a relatively large truck coming my way. It's gonna let it pass. And then off we go. Next up is this left turn that it makes usually with not a whole lot of confidence. So we'll kind of see how it goes through. And, oh, very smooth, much, much better. Um, generally that turn, even with no traffic and no vehicles present, it's, it's not the greatest at handling. So that was very good. So far, pretty overall solid performance here. Um, this is a pretty long stretch of road that I was on and it doesn't typically have any issues and, and that continues to be the case. It handles the <clears throat> winding turns and the crest of hills no problem. Next up is the nerve-wracking left turn that 
the stop sign is the line to stop is obstructed by a giant brick building on one side um, and some foliage on the other that's a little bit further down. I'm liking these stops. This is much smoother and less abrupt than it's been. Still stops at the stop line here. And then here comes the roller coaster part. Ah, wee. Okay, so no traffic coming and that was really good. Wow, I'm I'm I got 11.4.3 kind of late. Uh, later than I'm used to getting the updates and just doing some quick research online, it didn't seem like there was that big of a difference, but I am 100% noticing a better drive than, than 11.4.2. Um, in fact, 11.4.2 was a little bit of a, a regression for me and the only thing that improved with the silent update was the merger onto highways, so very interesting. Speaking of that merger, uh, here comes the spot where it would ride the merge point all the way to the end and not merge in, and then one day it just decided to start doing it, so we'll see if that's taken a step backwards or not here. take a peek here it's a little busier than normal but <clears throat> I don't have any wicked traffic nearby so I'm kind of looking for a turn signal here and I got one so very good so that behavior has stayed on man this is uh this is exciting all right next up is the off-ramp here <clears throat> getting off the highway, this particular one and a handful of others, it would very aggressively take the exit and then end up going over the line, sometimes to the point where there was debris on the line where I had to kind of rein it back in. And up still there a little bit, but seemed much, much better. So, so far, there have been really a whole lot of improvements here. And if this, after this next left, I have another spot where it would run itself off the road. If it happens to not do that, I would say that I end up with really a perfect drive here. All right, making the left turn confidently. So now is this left turn that will traditionally want to cross the white line to the right and kind of run me off the road into the dirt before it makes it. And, uh, no. <clears throat> it rode the line, but it didn't do it. So, wow, points. Points for FSD there. Wow. Moving over one lane, moving over up. Now I'm going to move over the second lane. So a little bit of jerkiness here and there, but I am thoroughly impressed with this update. I did not expect so many improvements. Um, wow. After reading some others' experiences with 11.4.3, uh, I really wasn't expecting a whole lot, so this is a, this is a pleasant surprise. All right, so I'm about to back into this space here. There is no curb. It looks like it's just a little bit of grass, so we'll see if anything shows up on the sensors. And oh, and it does, huh? 
Look at that. All right, so there was just grass there and it showed me the parking assist line. So it shows that I'm right up on the grass a little bit. So we'll get out and take a look and see how accurate it is. And right up a little bit over the bump there. So I would say that's pretty darn accurate. What's interesting here is it's nice that I still see the vehicles and it draws the little parking sensor line around the vehicles if, if you're parking in between two vehicles, which I would never do normally, but just for the sake of testing it. And then when I pull out here, I'll just kind of see if I get anything And the view actually zooms in a little bit, I see. Huh. Well, so far so good. So now I'm going to attempt to do a park right by a curb. So we'll see how that goes. Liking the top-down view here for the parking, that's definitely changed. And up oh, there's the image of the curb. And there's the back. So it tells me to stop a little bit earlier than I would. I usually back in and let the curb sort of disappear underneath my camera so that I know I'm nice and tight up against it. But overall, that looks pretty good. So there's the view of the vehicle there, and I guess I'm going to have to roll down the window instead of opening the door so I don't lose the view. And there's the distance from the curb. All right. We'll do vertical first. just to see. All right. Nope, nothing on the front. So placing a object before the vehicle is powered on shows that it won't see it. So if there was a storm and something blew in front of my car, I would have to look and check ahead of time. Otherwise, I would run right over it. So getting some beeps there like it physically sees it. So it's kind of curling around to the front.
So it looks like if the object is blown in front of the vehicle before the cameras are active, it won't see it. But if something moves in front of the vehicle while the cameras are active, it does see it. So far, I've been extraordinarily happy with the route that I normally take. I'm very impressed with the overall performance. It's hard for me to believe that it was just a point increase uh, in the update, but it made a huge difference for me. Now the left turn at the fork here will be the ultimate test as it does extraordinarily poorly at this particular fork in the road pretty consistently. So I will be blown away if this is something that was also fixed within the update. So man, we're coming in fast. Nope. I'm not even going to give it a shot. It didn't even want to slow down in the slightest. So. The behavior at the fork in the road still is there where it's just cuts over to the left at the last possible second and either puts me in the grass or gets awful darn close to putting me in the grass. But other than that, stop signs are drastically improved. Um, the part of the trip that it usually goes over the line on the right side of the road to make the right hand turn and drives into the dirt has been fixed and so far all of my on-ramp merges have been flawless as far as it no longer rides it all the way to the end it now puts its turn signal on and gets in when it can so that's pretty awesome as far as the update goes it was way more than i was expecting and the added inclusion of the park assist, vision only park assist, is surprising and seems to be pretty rock solid for me. I will have to do a couple other additional tests. Uh, I wish that the sensors would work when there was something placed in front of the vehicle when it doesn't drive up to it, but maybe that'll come with an update in the near future. Other than that, I appreciate everyone stopping by the channel, and I'll have some additional videos as more updates come out. Thanks for watching.